like to talk about my experiences uh, hunting for uh, test equipment. Well, I do a fair amount of electronics on my own time and, and all that. Uh, so I do have, a, well, a basic setup uh, or at home uh, with, with a power supply, oscilloscope, a frequency counter and a function generator. So just the basic equipment. Uh, though I uh, do this is this has been upgraded, but I have been uh, maintaining my own my own home lab for quite some time now. And uh, what I, what I was thinking is, if one if somebody uh, who is tight on budget wants to actually get started electronics and uh, look for test equipment, where can they look for test equipment? Where can they find uh, bargains or low cost test equipment? So apparently. I believe somebody uh, posted not too long ago that there are oscilloscopes on, on sites like Carousel and other uh, other kinds of websites. And I actually decided to just go look for test equipment. So if you type uh, search terms like oscilloscope or that, you can actually find many sellers who, who actually deal with second-hand uh, test equipment. Some of them are out of cal uh, maybe out of calibration and all that, but it should do the job for most uh, hobbyist electronics. So, in for example, in one of the uh, sellers page, you can see that they have oscilloscopes, power supplies, and uh, RF connectors even uh, listed. So, the, I found one uh, dealer called Win Marine. And they was offering a flute, a 60 megahertz uh, combi scope, which is an analog and digital scope all in one unit. So I decided to engage the seller and uh, and go and visit and just uh, get a uh, test equipment and upgrade my uh, home electronics lab. And when I went there, you can see that they really collect a lot of test equipment from places like uh, the Polytechnics and other educational institutes that I've upgraded and they don't even want to use equipment anymore. And most of them are working. Ooh. And you can see they have things such as uh, os oscilloscopes, from frequency counters, RF signal generators, more oscilloscopes, more power supplies, function generators, mm -hmm. and, uh, and all that. Even more power supplies, more uh, yeah, even more test field function generators, uh, frequency counters, and all that. And well, the they actually have an uh, entire uh, a whole well, well warehouse full of test equipment and all that. And there are actually a lot of these sellers that you can find on uh, Carousel. And if your edges. Wait, a few tips. If you're going around hunting for test equipment online and all that, you, you have to actually ask and check if uh, they are willing to allow you to test the equipment uh, and see whether it works, if it works or not. In the case of Winbury, they actually let me test each and, each and every one of the piece of equipment I bought, whether the power supply, uh, oscilloscope, or that. And they actually have probes and other test equipment for me to verify the operation of of the desk equipment I bought. Uh, and yes, there are quite a lot of uh, listings and uh, deals from do look out for a for a number of them and compare the prices and actually look out the specs and do your homework. Uh, I mean it is uh, the internet anyway, some you may you may encounter some you may not be you may not be giving you that great of a deal equipment that is uh that is really overpriced for the age and uh and, and specifications that they are look that they have basically. And to be honest I have not too much uh except that this is the contact for uh Winbury. Uh this is one of the, I mean this is the seller I have uh gone gone to so I'm just showing that but on carousel there's a lot of uh other dealers and a lot of other suppliers that actually sell and deal in all these uh second hand test equipment. And I mentioned calibration. So some equipment, uh, such as food combination scopes and all that, may be out of calibration already. So how? So let's say if you wanted to calibrate this equipment, make sure that it's 
conforming to a certain standard, spring technologies, uh, not only they sell that equipment, but they also deal in with the calibration of fluid rigor and other uh, name brand test equipment out there. And to be honest, that's uh, really all I have. What, what sorts of costs have you encountered in getting second-hand gear? Calibrated? Okay, the 60 megahertz combi scope which I bought, I bought it for $150. I then noticed that they were uh, that they actually carry a 100 meg combi scope for just $180. And we tested it, it's working. So uh, a few days later, I actually uh, paid the difference. They let me pay the difference and I got the 100 meg uh, combination scope. But for the, some of the scopes, such as the Hitachi digital, uh, digital storage and similar scope, uh, if I remember correctly, it's a 50 meg bandwidth. They are selling for eighty dollars. Mm. My question was cost for calibration. Well, the cost for calibration would depend on the uh, for example, the uh, equipment. For example, uh, Fluke forty five, which my friend has uh, calibrated once, I believe what seventy eighty dollars for calibration. And yes, for most uh, purposes, it only lasts for a year. But for hobbies, use is cheap enough. Just to make sure that it is working with spec. Today I'll offer a slightly more controversial suggestion. You can get very cheap few cents of uh, voltage references of uh, uh, of uh, microchip. So if you need voltage sources that are precision on chip, uh, band gap based references put to about 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 volts. The scope's a ten percent instrument anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, there are probably a decent resource later will will probably get you within uh, 0 0.01 hertz. Mm -hmm. Uh, after the uh, after thermal stability, if you're just calibrating the scope, DIY is not too hard. Uh, no, if, if, if you're doing performance verification, uh, uh, yeah, I mean you can you can do that. Is uh, well how uh, how crazy you want yeah. to uh, go? If you just want to verify something and uh, make sure it just works and get, and get it done over it, uh, I think. For that, um, but there's really more you know, sense sending a what video scope to Cal, and they probably don't have the, the Cal manual for a uh, Hitachi, for example. Uh, Hitachi, no, in fact, they are quite. I checked the manual and they don't even give you the schematics, but for uh, name brands such as Fluke and all that, I believe they still do uh, Cal service for a relatively high price. Because I just set my spec 7000 back for Cal, and it's uh, it's easily a thousand ish for the because they can. But you get a certificate of uh, yes, but if this is a, uh, you get a certificate of calibration under certain temperature conditions. Yeah. There is a two and a half hour warm up time and in any case the, the thing says picosecond to uh one percent that's about it. <laughs> of course you're dealing with a certain level of precision that the cost for that will be expected. Uh, no the, the cost of it comes from the fact that there are something like twenty something trip ports. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they are all dependent. I and I understand the cost, but uh, 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 just uh, just uh, uh, personal of the 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 scale thing may be overrated. EV may be what you're interested in in the scope. Perhaps. So, John, would you know if these services provide you some certificate? I believe they do give you a uh, certificate of check and they will tell you what uh, is out of For example, my friend did he actually brought a flip 45 to multi meter for check and it's micro unfair range was out of the check. So, they have a lot of important things that are. Nice. So, so what's the best way we call them and revisit? Or uh, okay. if you want to visit, for example, uh, again, Marie or Spring Technologies for either for purchase or calibration or whatever, you call them up first. Uh, uh, they they will have an email, I believe, it's all on the uh, websites okay, and okay. things like that. Of course, with Marine, I found out Carousel, and you can uh, directly deal with them on Carousel and arrange a appointment. <coughs> We've got 50 seconds left, come on guys, any questions? <laughs> <laughs>